Hello and welcome. Let's talk about bone tumors. So, this is a radiograph showing different types of bone tumors. Now, primary bone tumors, benign. Osteogenic tumors like osteoosteoma, chondrogenic tumors like enchondroma, osteochondroma, periosteal chondroma, and synovial chondromatosis. Notochordal tumors like benign notochordal tumor, vascular tumors like hemangioma, myogenic tumors like leomyoma of bone. Lipogenic tumors like lipoma of bone, undefined tumors like simple bone cyst, fibrous dysplasia, and osteofibrous dysplasia. Intermediate tumors like osteogenic tumors, osteoblastoma, chondrogenic tumors, chondroblastoma, fibrogenic tumors, dysplastic fibroma, giant cell rich tumors, giant cell tumor, vascular tumors, epithelioid hemangioma, undefined tumors like aneurysmal bone cyst, langer and cell histocytosis, and Adam Chester disease. Malignant tumors like osteogenic tumors, including osteosarcoma, chondrogenic tumors like chondrosarcoma, clear cell chondrosarcoma, de differentiated chondrosarcoma, mesenchymal chondrosarcoma, and fibrogenic tumors like fibrosarcoma, giant cell rich tumors like malignant giant cell tumor, and notochordal tumors like chordoma. Vascular tumors like angiosarcoma, epithelioid hemangio, endothelioma, and myogenic tumors like leomyosarcoma of bone. Lipogenic tumors like liposarcoma of bone and undefined tumors like Ewing sarcoma, adamantinoma, undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma of bone. And the secondary bone tumors. The metastasis are the most common bone tumors in adults from breast 35%, from lungs, prostate, kidney, and from thyroid. Now, this is a picture showing different types of bone tumors. Here is the Ewing sarcoma, here is the enchondroma chondroblastoma, osteosarcoma, osteochondroma with pedunculated sessile or coilflower type and aneurysma bone cyst, osteoma and osteosarcoma. Now classification of bone tumor according to site epiphyseal, diphyseal and metaphyseal. Epiphyseal, chondroblastoma, intraarticular osteoosteoma, giant cell tumor and clear cell chondrosarcoma. Diphyseal includes osteoosteoma, Eosinophilic granuloma, fibrous dysplasia, adamantinoma. Metaphysial includes most of the bone tumors. Now, principles of management of primary malignant bone tumors. The management of the patients with bone sarcomas must be carried out by a multidisciplinary team, including clinician, pathologist, radiologist, and oncologist together. Latent benign lesions may not require any treatment unless symptomatic. Active benign lesions range from the limited biopsy and curatage to detailed curatage and bone grafting. For intermediate lesions, end block removal of the lesion may be required to achieve local control. Close follow-up is also required because of the risk of recurrence. For malignant tumors, the full skills of the multidisciplinary team is required to decide an optimum management and many tumors will respond to chemotherapy like osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma and most of them will require surgical resection. Patients with a Ewing sarcoma or chordoma may also require a highly specialized radiotherapy. Now, common bone tumors in children includes osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma. And commonest bone sites getting metastasis includes spine and proximal part of the humerus. And the most common sites of bone metastasis include spine, proximal femur and proximal humerus. The highly malignant tumors of the bone include osteosarcoma, chondrosarcoma, Ewing sarcoma, multiple myeloma and fibrosarcoma. Now, warning signs of bone tumor, non-mechanical bone pain, especially around the knee in young adolescents and concerning radiographs. End of the topic.